Peel off the play for the time being. Left point, Zloty, turnover. Matsushima rifles it ahead. Now it's Krenkovic. He's got Folk with him. Folk down the right wing side. In tight, a chance. They score. Kendanov finds the back of the net. And it's a 1 0 Oilers lead on the first shot of the game. Bear Kendanov goals in back to back nights. With 18.24 left in the first. Well, this is all about the line change that occurs. Eddie Matsushima distributes the puck out of his own zone. Then he's got to get off the ice. That's why you always got to hustle when you're getting off of the ice. It's not that your shift's done. It's that you got to start somebody else's shift. Carson Folk comes onto the ice during... Now a Dokuma, potential little two-on-one. Butcher one-timer. Blade fans on him. If Dokuma, centering feed... Stolen back by Kudla. Worked up the line by Zloty. Up top. Shot. Distance. Wall. Rebound. Goal. Dante Sheriff. Five-game point streak. And he finds it. 26 seconds in the back half of regulation. The Oilers take a 2-0 lead. Uh, being in the right spot, Dante Sheriff. He, he's sort of the beneficiary of a puck deflected in front of the net. Look at him. Dokumov stick right there. Gets a piece of it. And then it just floats right to the back door. Where Sheriff's able to tap it on in with no problem at all. Just be in the right spot. Good things will happen. Wires this just wide of the cage. Rebound sitting and Nira misses on it. Becker slaps it out. Pelton Bice left wing up top. Register now Pelton Bice. Now Becker. Shot save made. Alexander bouncing puck to the line. Register holding left side to the hashes. 528 left in the second. Shot traffic. They score. Pelton Bice with a power play goal. It's the first of the game for the Steelheads. Bouncing puck inside the line. Here's Carson Folk. One on one. Has somebody coming with him. And Como, Como in tight. Folk doorstep jamming. Oh, what a save made. As it comes back up behind the net. Carson Folk finds his man a shot. They score. Carl Boudria brings the back of the net. It's a 3-1 game with 13.59 left in the third. Uh, Tammer time for Carl Boudria. He finds the back of the net on an absolute blast. He could almost guarantee it. Once it was teed up, there's no way he was missing the net. One, but two, Mo was going to get to that one, to say the least. Side. Brought in Rodzinski to the corner on the far side of Tulsa territory. Jammed around in the circle. Quick touch pass. Huge block. Rebound. They score. It's Loti that finds the back of the net. He cuts it to a one-goal game with 5.52 left in period number three. Oh, what a shot. And... The Oilers just allowed that puck to stay in the corner a bit too long without eventually snagging possession away, and it leads to the Idaho goal. Bruce Keller can't find the handle. It'll come to the half wall. Getting to that is Farron. Stolen back. Rebound. Another chance. Michael Farron has Kyle Krenkovic. Krenkovic coming in. Krenkovic. He scores. 4-2. Empty net goal. His ninth goal this season. His 32nd point, Kyle Krenkovic, makes it a 4-2 game with two left in the third. Oh, well, breathe here now. The emphasis for Idaho, keep shooting the puck and create chaos. Right wing circle shot blocked in front. 31 seconds remaining here in period number three. 4-2 the score in favor of the Oilers. An empty net the other way for Idaho. Evdokimov, milkshakes. And he's got goals in back-to-back -back games while he's at it. And another multi-point game for his resume. 5-2.